the man to watch. In a rich vein of form, and number one on the scoring charts. Can he do it again today, live on EA TV? And a warm welcome on what is an ideal night for football, you've got to say. I'm Derek Ray, joined for commentary by the former Arsenal defender Lee Dixon. And what we have coming up for you is live action from Ligue 2 BKT. This ought to be a thriller, Lee. Thanks, Derek. Good atmosphere here. Everybody looking forward to what should be a really entertaining game. Well, you certainly can't underplay how proficient our hosts are in front of goal. Just look at the record, best in the league, Lee. Yeah, well, their forwards should be full of confidence. They've been in fantastic form of late. Bodes well for the neutrals today. Should be an entertaining match, Derek. And the lineup for the home side. And this is a formation most people in the game are very familiar with nowadays. Yeah, most coaches are adopting this formation. What it does give you is two holding players in front of the back four to protect them. But it also gives you three supporting players to that central striker. Let's have a look at the initial 11 for the visitors. Would you call it 4-5-1, Lee? Yeah, I really like this formation, Derek. 4-2-3-1, really. The two central midfield players supplying support to a three ahead of them and then a lone striker with a number 10 just behind him. Merci. Bon match à toutes et à tous. And they kick off here. Lee Seung Woo. It's with Paun. Well, pressing high is something the visitors like to do. It can take a lot out of any team, but it is very much their game. Lee, would you expect that approach this time? Yeah, absolutely. The press looks on the way the team's set up. High energy is needed for this tactic. Everyone has to buy into it, but the rewards are big, Derek. It did look on for them, but not to be. Excellent refereeing, advantage in operation. Untonji. Getting word that there's been a goal in the Brest match. Alan McAnally can tell us more. It's a goal for Stad Brest. It's been scored by Gaetan Charbonnier. He was on the end of a good cross and directed the ball back across the keeper. Eight minutes played, 1-0. Thanks, Alan. Good officiating, waiting for the play to stop and now going back to caution him. Well, not the greatest pass, easily intercepted. And space to cross it. Oh, lovely weighted ball, they might be in. Still possible, in it goes, an early goal, no wonder they're celebrating. Well, here's the replay. He's done really well to get his head up and pick out a teammate. And then the sheer power of the strike, really impressive. It's a thunderbolt. So the match is restarted. 1-0 here. Ignatov, Alexandru Paun. Lee Seung Woo. And attempting the through ball. That's all they can conjure for now. And they'll get ready for the throw in. And he favours the inside route. 
Lee Seung Woo. Ignatov. Well, still searching for the equaliser, but not passing it anxiously. And it's come off the keeper. Well, they can keep possession now. Showing plenty of defensive acumen and conceding the throw-in. He's in with a chance. Oh, really commanding goalkeeping. Well, that'll be a corner. A goal here would really change the complexion of this match. Going short. He cuts it back. And news of a goal in the Trois match. Alan McAnally can fill us in. It's a second goal for the visitors. 22 minutes played, 2-0. Alan McAnally with his finger on the pulse. Ignatov. Lee Seung Woo. Timothy Weah. Fruitful looking attack. Well, possession seeded. Good movement. And on the back of that particular challenge, will the referee let the matter rest there? Well, following that tackle, he's got to go into the book. Yeah, he's missed time more than anything there. Just missed time his tackle. And you need your defender to take charge. Cedric Untonji. Might be able to get in behind the defence. He's had to go for it. Wins the ball. There's a slide rule pass. Well, he'll be irked with himself. Ran into an offside position. Now you've got to keep the ball a bit better than that. As you can see, the visitors haven't had too much of the ball. But when they've had the ball, they keep delivering the sucker punch. Oh, in with a chance. And he might be through here. Can he find the net? And it's two for him today. A masterful performance. The defenders unable to stop him. Well, we can take another look at this. It's a lovely little one-two to get through. But then there's plenty to do from there. He's hitting so well. Lots of pace, lots of power. And the keeper just can't react in time. Great strike. Well, a second goal for them here. Gastia. Bertomier. Let's join Alan McAnally now because I understand there's been a change to the scoreline in the Dijon game. Alan. It's a goal for Ajaxio. 38 minutes played. 1 1. Thanks very much as always, Alan. The cross is on. Moving the ball effectively. Well, they really had to be on their toes defensively given the circumstances. Well, he's given a corner, they referee. And now the delivery. And still dangerous. On a time for composure on the ball. Could be a chance to break here. Luca Garitano. Dembele. Alexandru Paun. And a strong tackle. Now, let's see what they can do here. Luca Garitano. Well, there is going to be stoppage time, but only the one minute. Lee Seung Woo. Well, they couldn't keep it. 
So the referee says that will be all for the first half on the home side. No, they've got a bit of digging to do here, Lee. Well, they're going to need that incredible scoring ability for sure in the second half. On the back foot for most of that 45, the manager will be having some strong words with this lot at half-time. I can tell you that, Derek. As anticipated, plenty of talking points so far. And now the second half is underway. Bertomier. Well, it was a menacing attack, but tidied up. Dembele. Luca Garitano. Ignatov, Alexandru Paun, can he put it in, in it goes, to alter the arithmetic and give them hope that they can turn this round. Well here's the replay, it's a really lovely through ball and he had choices of what type of finish to apply. And bang, he goes for the smash. Lovely goal. Well, 2-1 it is here. Hanging on to the ball in this fashion suits them. A room to roam on the wing. Opportunity to deliver the cross. Beautifully timed. Over the touchline for a throw in. Dembele. Luca Garitano. Manchester City have been busy in the transfer market. The contract situation finally ironed out and he could be available. Real chance. It's got to be. And a goal. My goodness, they've changed the course of this game. Level now. Well, here's the replay, and it's a lovely through ball to set up the chance. And when he gets through to the keeper, he just smashes it past him and gives him no chance to think. A lovely finish. Goals are plenty. 2-2. Two, two. Bertomier, Cedric Untonji. Oh, lovely weighted ball. They might be in. And in with a real chance. Still could put it away. Pressure on to clear his lines. Are they going to forge ahead? And a goal! Just like that, they're back in front. Well, here's the replay, and it's a terrible effort at clearing your lines, giving the ball away. And from there, they never recover, and the coach will be tearing his hair out. You can't really say defences are on top. 3-2. Ivan Bayiu. Garitano on the ball. Ignatov. Looking for that final pass and for that chance to level the game.
I believe there's been a goal in the Trois game. Alan McAnally. It's another goal for the visitors. 67 minutes played. 4-0. Cheers again, Alan. Way up. It should be. Wonderful block. Bertomier. Chance to do damage. The outcome is a goal kick here. Now they're going to alter things. Here's the substitution. Well, nicely cut out. Really nice ball. A glorious chance. Well, body in the way. Big chance it is. And the keeper there to make sure nothing untoward happened. Oh, he's given it away. Can they get in behind them? This looks promising. It will be claimed by the keeper. Very much run of the mill as saves go. Inside the last quarter of an hour. And the attacking options appear plentiful. Way up. Excellent vision. It might be on for them. Look at Garitano. Ignatov. They've got to be really mindful of the time situation, attacking though they might be. Well, pass after pass, maybe they can chisel an opportunity. Way up. This could level it. He knew he had to make the tackle, and did. Oh, a nice-looking pass. Opportunity missed. Just listen to the crowd, Derek, urging their team on. Surely they'll get another chance. Bertomier. Gastia. It's a weighted pass. It's got to be. And able to close down the shot. Another goal from this corner would in all likelihood secure victory. And firing it into the area. Now delivering that deep cross. Well, goal kick, just as it was looking promising. A oh, poor from the keeper. Can he finish them off? He's done it! What a climax to this game! And you have to say, it was on the cards. So the current scoreline, 4-2. And only two minutes remaining here. Alexandru Paul. On the pass in behind the defence. Quick thinking from the keeper. Really good attacking play. Now can they create something? Well, it all counts for naught. And that is the end of the game. It goes into the history books as a home defeat. Lee, your thoughts? Well, scoring goals hasn't been a problem for them this season. But as we saw today, at times, they can leak goals for fun. The defence really has to put their hands up and accept responsibility for this result.